Greetings everyone and welcome back to RimWorld. Now, in today's episode, we are going to get a heater in Lorenz's room there. And we're actually going to make sure that this is actually assigned to Lorenz. There you go. Your medieval bard ship. Um, right. Now, I've cancelled the Alkyde chair because, frankly, we don't have enough Alkyde. What we do have enough of now is Muffalo Leather. So, instead, and as much as it frustrates me... We're going to place a Muffalo leather chair right about there. Now, as for the rest of the work, eh, there's quite a lot going on. Call us a gathering to celebrate KD and Calissa Fox's marriage. Oh, how lovely. Let's get everyone together then. The whole colony is invited. Everyone's going to be in a fairly good mood. This is a, this is a pretty happy time. Scott, wake up. Go to the party. Go. Even though you're tired, go. Orion as well. Wake up. Go. Everyone needs to be together. There we go. It's going to be lovely. Um, they're beginning the marriage ceremony. Everyone's just chilling out. Caravan request. What? A nearby settlement, Families Desert, contacts you with a special trade request. They would like to purchase 1,401 rice. In return, they offer a thrombohorn. I don't think that's a particularly uh, good trade, personally. No. Oh, this is quite pretty. I wish we'd actually been able to build that really at a time like this. It looks like they want to use sappers to settle around our defense. What defenses? We're having a wedding, you scallywags. My lord. <laughs> really? They're going through there? Uh, I mean, sure. If you, if you want to. Uh, I've not got anything particularly against it. A uh, new area has been revealed. Jump to location. They've discovered a new area. Very well. Um, has, has the wedding finished? I really would like to not mess with the wedding, but... Damn it. We're under attack, guys. Oh, my lord. The attack, it does commence. Uh, we'll place that one down. We'll actually go for all three this time, I think. Given that they're going to circumvent my meager defenses. Right, there we are. Good, 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 good. Right. Uh, let's get you working on this straight away. Prioritize working on that. Lorenz, prioritize. Oh, you can't do it. Um, Rhapsody and Kalissa get to work right away, please. Let's get all of these set up. It's going to take them a little while. Actually, no, they're making fast progress because of the uh, fact that they're finding all of their little weak spots. My lord, cheat hacks. Right, uh, Yoko, want you out of the way for now. Since they're going to be attacking from this direction, we'd like Dark Avic down here. Kalissa, I would like you there. Uh, actually, there. Uh, Orion, let's get you there. Scott. Mm. Yeah, Scott, you can be up there. Oh, Lorenz, you don't have a weapon. Uh, that's not particularly good. Okay, you can grab the poor uh, bolt-action rifle down here. And then you can take up a position over here. There we go. They should be with us in just a moment. There they are. Let's hope our turrets can actually engage. There they go. Fantastic. You are not going to get close. Uh, okay, that's one down. Now, hopefully the bolt-action rifles will be able to do a bit of damage. Yes, you're taking shots. Actually, could you come down here? I think you would be able to get a couple of shots from there. Uh, Scott, you got a... That was a brilliant shot, Scott. Uh, I'd like you to move up a little bit, and you might be within range. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, I'd like the store to be held open for you. So you, There's only one person, realistically, you can take a shot at you. And, ooh, that's a stun grenade. Never mind, stun grenade is no longer an issue. Right, Dark Avac, I want you to rush. We've got a couple of nice weapons out there, and I don't want those weapons getting away. So go, 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 go. Doesn't matter. You can draw their attention if you'd like. It's fine. Uh, please shoot them with all of the guns. There we go. Uh, how's everyone doing? Really bloody well is how they're doing. Kalissa, need you to come out here right now. Just, just step outside. Orion the same. Lorenz the same. Do your best and shoot as far as you can. Scott, you're good. And these all need to be A, turned off and then uninstalled. Turning them off now is probably better. Wow, that worked well. Uh, okay, actually, you guys, you're good to go as well. Uh, will anyone take care of those for me? 
Dark Avak, you are probably going to be able to just hunt them down and slay them all before they get away. That is going to be glorious. Though a little bit frustrating that they just went through here, honestly. Um, we may need to drop down a couple of um, things in there to make sure that they, they can't easily do that in the future. Um, but at the same time, I don't actually mind having this there. Uh, what kind of blocks have we got? Which which are the most? We've got loads of sandstone blocks. How much HP is on a sandstone block? 350. How much is on a slate block? 325. It's really not that much difference. And I'm going to guess a limestone is even worth... No, 390. Okay. Uh, so, we'll have some defenses in there. Cancel that one, and this will be a, a little little open area. Dark Havoc is going to catch up to you. He moves at 7.63 cells a second. You move at 5. And you move pretty much the same. He might not be able to get boss, unless he's hit you in the leg. Torso, uh, go for it again. If you can get a leg shot, I'm going to have you walk past and go for... You might actually kill him in the next hit or two. Uh, actually, he's, he's putting up a bit of a fight. Let's have a look. A couple of bruises, a couple of cracks. Well done. Go for boss. Uh, odds of catching him at this point fairly slim, I'll be honest. Oh my lord. <laughs> well, that's probably why you weren't doing too well with that fight. Okay. Uh, a brawler really doesn't like holding a, uh, a shooting weapon. Though, given that, still actually not bad at it. Incapable of intellectual cleaning and plant work. Mm, no. No, I don't think you're actually that important to our efforts. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take off these nice clothes that you got. Yep. Let's get rid of all of those, and then you're not going to survive. Sorry, but it's survival of the fittest out here, and you're literally food to Dark Avec. So, I don't know what you were expecting, frankly. All right, let's get everyone and their things hauled. Top priority, please. Get it all done. There we go. Right. Absolutely perfect. Um, that door is still held open. It would be cool if someone could close it for me. In fact, Orion, could you go through it? Because I that is basically uh, causing issues with our current setup. Uh, there we go. Let's get all of these shut down. Marvellous. Then uninstall them. That went remarkably well, actually. Remarkably well. Uh, Orion, thank you very much for holding the body. But as soon as you get it up there, I... Well, okay, you can go and eat first. Go on then. Go nom. Uh, oh, you're not nomming. Sorry, I thought you were going for the, for the food. No. But what I do need to do now is cook because someone else has gone for the food. Beavers! Here to eat my woods! Uh, okay, well, uh, Kalissa, you're coming out here. I have no problem with wiping out an entire group of beavers. Uh, Lorenz, you can go as well. Sorry, guys, I know you were just out and about, but uh, I actually really do need you to go and uh, get some things done. Dark Havoc was the only person who took any damage in that fight. That was actually remarkably cool. Uh, let's get everyone together, and then you can begin the beaver slaying. Actually, I want all beavers to be hunted, just so it's easy for us. Uh, go ahead, get a little bit closer up. Uh, ooh, there's quite a lot of beavers there. A little bit concerned. Uh, take you out. Okay, Alpha Beaver Revenge. Which ones? Are you manhunting? Oh dear, you are all manhunting beavers now. Uh, oh, actually no. No, only one or two. So I would like you to go for this beaver if you could. That's right. All of you just attack as best you can. Uh, I probably should have Dark Avac up here helping, really. Um, Kalissa, go ahead and melee attack that one, if you could. Uh, sure. Oh, mad animal. Which one? A local wild... Really? A wild boar as well? That's kind of pretty rough timing. Kalissa, you're on your own right now because I need to ensure this boar doesn't get close. Please kill it. Kill it. Oh, my lord. Run away from it, then. Ouch. 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 Double ouch. That really bad. Ouch. Oh my lord. That went so wrong. Uh, Alright, Scott. If you could rescue Felissa. <laughs> my goodness. 
That was... We did so well in, in the raid, and then so poorly at just hunting. Uh, oh, well. Uh, right. If we can get Dark Arbok up here, and Lorenz... Uh, Orion, at this point, I'm going to need you up here as well. <laughs> we need to kill the beaver before they eat all the trees. Uh, well, while, while you're here, could you take out that boar? Ideally. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but it would be great if you could. Uh, if you go ahead and slay this. There we are. Uh, you two can move over there. That can be hauled in. There we are. Make sure that everything over there is to be hunted. I can have a finish this one off. There we go. Someone should be up here before long to gather these. You've got such terrible aim. My lord. Uh, right. There's a lot of beavers over there, but Dark Havoc should be able to take that one out by itself. Yeah, it's gone. And if you could then chase down this one, that would be great. Well done. You finished it off, I think. Either that or it just left. Please, Dark Havoc, come on now. My goodness, he's taking an age to kill anything these days. It's all about the torture. Mind you, given what he, he's saying from wearing human skin, I guess I'm not that surprised. Like, honestly, I guess I'm not that surprised. Is that the, the lot of them? I think it may actually be. <sighs> Do I really want to take on the balls? I don't. Realistically speaking, I really don't. Could you just haul this alpha beaver back for me? Right, you guys need to get a little bit closer, clearly. There we go, and a little bit closer again, because it's obvious, despite having a really good weapon for range, you're just bad at it. Uh, can you grab him and... Oh, okay, can you... Uh, Lorenz, eat the meal. Okay, everyone's eating. Fine, All right, you go grab this one. No, you won't haul. Very well. Uh, we need everything out here hauled as a priority, though. So, womp. And then we don't want any stones brought in at all. There we go. Colonist needs rescue. Uh, everyone should be rescued. Yep, yeah, there we go. Well done, Yoko. Ah, uh, oh, damn it, you were an infection. Well, that's a massive pain in the bum. Uh, okay. Well, let's have a look at the infection. It's 4.6%. Rhapsody, if you could go and treat Kalissa. That was really unfortunate. Oh, well. The cold snap, snap is over. Fantastic. And she's got another infection. How many infections she got? One in the right leg, one in the torso. Well, you did take a, a nasty couple of bites from those alpha beavers. So I, I guess I'm not too surprised. Still, it's a little bit of a pain. All right, let's get the uh, generator field. At some point, I'm going to have to have either Orion or Dark Avak butcher all the people in there. Just to make sure that, people, uh, that everyone else isn't slowly losing their mind. Now, Lorenz is going to be getting a negative mood in here because it's not particularly warm. Nor is it light. However, we've got some art. Uh, scarcity number one. This carving bear is an image of a depressed historian <laughs> wearing a bowler hat. There is a town in the background while the work is executed in a cubist style. It's a poor thing, but not bad first try, Lorenz. Um, how, actually, 28 beauty. Not bad at all, in fact. Let's get that uh, set up in there. That'll be quite nice. There we go. Ooh, KD. You're abandoning your clothing because you're wearing rubbish clothes. That is going to get increasingly nasty over time. We definitely need to get on top of that. Um, I would actually like you to rest until healed. You're hauling... Uh, slag chunks. Um, no. Go and rest until healed. And the chunks don't need to be hauled. What I want to see is to haul the corpses. No, oh, too late. Uh, poop. I knew there was one other thing that I wasn't um, telling them to stop hauling. Dread, basically. Massive levels of dread. Um, 
Lorenz, if you could clean... No, not going to clean the hospital. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, I'm afraid you are. There, there, never mind. You got there in time. Uh, Dark Abbott can have some noms. We are actually low on food, so Dark Abbott, if you could cook, I would be genuinely in your debt. Uh, let's have a look. Mm, you're not, not too bad. Uh, you're in a really good mood regardless just because of your marriage recently. So that's a really good one. Uh, let's unsuspend this and get Orion working on that, I think. Uh, let's just make sure, yeah, you're the psychopath, so this shouldn't affect you in the slightest. As long as you, it's not to do with you, you don't particularly care. Uh, you were way out there dealing with something. And let's see, everything else seems to be going okay. Orion should probably get through all of the, the people in here fairly quickly. Uh, I mean, ideally, I'd like people to just go and put up dead man's apparel if they have to but uh, we'll we'll see how that goes but with that i'm going to lay down a cat here and i will bring you back when there is more to report so see you soon okay we just got the severe illness alert but i think <laughs> once once again someone comes within a, a hair's breadth of death and then it's all okay so that's good i <laughs> Uh, let's uh, leave it at that, really. Uh, right, let's have a look. I really do need some people growing. Like, really desperately need people growing. Um, how about our growers not also be our primary constructors? That might help out a little bit. There we go. Uh, I still need these deconstructed. Uh, Scott, would you mind? Oh, there we go go you're repairing them that's fine let's get all of this done in fact that's actually really fine but uh, I do want them deconstructed and moved let's get all of these moved for now because I don't know if I really want them to be sat there now we may start seeing some heel root showing up again because we are now at the right sort of time really there are now elk that is frustrating because I've already uh, well, actually, I haven't already built it. Ha-ha! Fantastic. Okay, we don't have to worry about that, then. We can yet have an elk hide chair there. It will still look symmetrical. I am very, very pleased with this news. Uh, Orion getting some more um, food made. Good times are these. And we're just getting the last little bits of paving done. Okay, well, that leads us to a different thing, then. The next thing I think the colony needs is to start um, researching. And in fact, I think that they need that fairly badly. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and set up a little bit of a path out here so that they can get all of this sorted out. Um, go ahead, get rid of that. I wouldn't mind, ex well, no. We're gonna get rid of this entire zone, I think. Uh, we've got enough wood hauled up here. We don't need to worry too much about it. Uh, we will then have, uh, let's say the door goes there. Next up, we want to draw this out. We'll go the whole way. Um, sure, actually, yeah, we'll use the, this whole room. Now, the reason why I want to put the research bench over here is because KD is one of our primary researchers. I think, actually, KD and Lorenz are equal in that regard. So, um, yeah, they, they both live around this area, so that seems perfectly fine. Uh, we need more things. What do we need? It's probably steel. Okay. Well, given that then, could we get you down here to start pulling these apart? That would be truly amazing. There we go. How long is that going to take? Good. And this one next. And this one as well. Now we'll get all of these moved as a priority. You can just grab as much of that as you can. There we go. We'll get that shifted up there. Right. That should mean the Dark Abbot can work on this because we really do need to get Lorenz out of sleeping in the cold. I know, I know, Lorenz is disturbing your sleep. There you go. That was worth it, wasn't it? There we are. Uh, right. In here, we are going to want, of course, to get... Ooh, Exotic Goods Trader. I approve. We'll see what kind of things we can sell in a moment. Uh, here, I'm gonna say, yeah, sure. Let's get let's get the uh, paving in here as well, the uh, limestone paving. So mosaic there and there. 
some slabs along here. In fact, some slabs all the way along there as well. And then just regular paving all the way through there. Glorious. And this will allow us to have the simple research bench around here. I think it's a two by three. But we do have traders. So actually, I'm not sure which of you two is the best. 11 versus 10. I guess that it's, it's much ado about nothing, but we'll go with the best. Right, what have we got? We've got an arctic fox we could get. We've got some meals that we could get. Uh, actually, those lavish meals are ours. Uh, Glitter World Medicine, extremely expensive. Um, social Neuro Trainer might not be too bad. Uh, I could sell the AI Persona Core if you've got anything that I'd really particularly like. An Advanced Bionic Foot. Yeah, we're not going to be getting that one, I'm afraid. Um, so, Malvin Task. Ooh, what we do want is 20 gold, though. That is definitely something we want. And you know what? Sure, we'll buy a, uh, a television as well. There we go. Let's uh, get all of this hold out of the way. And the television can be installed immediately. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. It doesn't quite reach everyone up there. Uh, okay, well, I'll pop it there instead. Um, it's a little bit of a shame, but... Uh, that being said, I, I really would rather it not... Well, no, there's there's very little we can do about it. Uh, we maybe with the, I think one of the larger te televisions does allow for a much larger um, range, but uh, that's fine. We'll just get that set up as is. You know what? We'll pop a plant behind it as well. So we'll just pop in a plant pot right there. Okay, so most of this should be done fairly soon, and we're still making qu plenty of blocks. Though I really would prefer it if Dark Abak would make clothing instead but it doesn't seem that i can force him to uh we've got a normal cloth fur coat uh you know that's, i guess that's not too bad but uh it's pretty pretty low quality honestly uh we are chopping up all the beavers we've got quite a lot of beaver meat in there uh i would love it if all of the dead man's apparel was moved we've also got potatoes which is again amazing overall fairly happy with the way things are going right now fairly happy with the way things are going uh, right, I do need to get a basic paved tile right there. There we go. Now, this room is indoors. I would... Oh, my lord. Rhapsody? Why, Rhapsody? Why have you done this to yourself? <sighs> Rhapsody. You silly bugger. Go on. Get back to bed. You derp. My goodness. Uh, oh, are we actually... Yeah, we're hurting for power a little bit. Caravan requests. Uh, they would like 1,672 rice for 2,621 silver. I would say that that is not a good enough trade. Maybe I'm being a little bit silly with that, but uh, I really would say that that's not nearly good enough. Uh, it's mostly because of the effort that it would take getting a caravan out to them. Uh, let's get all of that hauled if we can. And then as much of it cooked as we possibly can. Uh, we've got oh, we've got quite a few meals in there actually. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Dark Avak has got a lavish meal there. Dark Avak is going to really enjoy those noms. And Scott is currently working on this. Glorious. Uh, actually, no. Scott is currently making some noms, but uh, Scott will be working on that before too long. There we go. Moving some things around. Okay, so at the moment, I'd say things are going reasonably well. Uh, let's go ahead and set up the research bench, though. The simple research bench. And we will place down... Uh, we'll just give you a, a wooden stool. And I... Just because I like the idea of the simple research bench being more of a kind of alchemy table with, with vials and alembics and, and, you know, occult marking scrawled across the, the walls. I, I think that would be glorious. Oops, I uh, completely missed who was in the relationship there. Drat damn and blast. Okay, well, the easiest way to find out would be to look through you guys. Who has got a uh, relationship? Not you... Um, not you, uh, friend, no, father, Lorenz, um, song, friend, nope, uh, nope, 
Scott, Larry Shields. There we go. So, Larry. All right, Larry. I guess we're going to be trying to not let you die. I guess. Maybe. It's something that maybe we can actually set up. I'm not entirely certain we can, but we can certainly give it a good, good uh, go. Uh, let's get these reset. Now, this won't be the typical setup because depending on, on the way the, the Raiders are coming from, I might want to set these up in a different configuration. I could even have them set up behind here to shoot out. So that would be a less common setup, certainly. Uh, let's get these installed, please. Scott, if you wouldn't mind, please get that one done. And Dark Abak, if you get that one done as well. Yoko, you're now back to Animal Area 1 for me. And, right, where are the enemies going? They're going to be coming through there. Makes sense. Uh, right, well, in that case, Dark Abak down here. Let's make sure that Yoko isn't going to try and help you. Good. Uh, Kalissa. Well, depending on how they move, really. Uh, this... There's a couple of different places we could, could place you guys. Uh, let me have that door held open. Um, Orion and... Sorry, Lorenz and Scott. Uh, sure, I'd like you to move through there. Lorenz, you can move there. There we go. And Dark Abak is with Kalissa for now. Alright, let's see how this goes. Now, the incendiary launcher, I really want you taken out of this fight as fast as possible. Uh, is anyone going to come through here? No? No? Really? No one's going to try. Okay, well, Dark Abbot, could you just get out there and attack them then? Please, thank you. Um, Kalissa? Would... Oh, dear, Kalissa hasn't got a gun. I completely missed that. Wow, what an idiot. Uh, go grab the assault rifle, please. Dark Abbot, if you could go for the shotgunners, that would be grand. Ouch. Uh, KD, while I admire your willingness to try and put out the fire, I think it's incredibly silly. Uh, get up there for me. If that turret goes down, that turret goes down. There's not a lot we can do against people with grenades. Um, right, Kalissa. Sure, go for it. Uh, a shot there. Well done. Get all of these firing on the same person. Ideally not the one the Dark Havoc is fighting. Because it's going to be a lot safer. Rhapsody, well done there as well. At this point, Dark Havoc, you can go for Lynn. Rhapsody, though, I really just need you to get out of the way. Let's get in and out of the way. Um, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I think not. I think not. The second you take them out. Oh, fantastic. Well done. They broke when Dark Havoc um, chopped at Lynn. Now... Scott, is your wife still alive? Uh, sorry, father. Larry, you are. You're quite far away. I'm going to have Dark Abbott give chase. Let's see Dark Abbott. Ah, his leg has been cracked. I think Larry's going to just get away. That's fine. What I was going to do is have Dark Abbott give chase and unequip his Gladius so that he could try and... Um, go for a knockout. Oh, actually, Larry is going in an interesting direction. Go for Colonel if you can. Uh, sure, Kalissa, you can take a couple of shots if you want. Uh, Wanderer joins. A villager named Ka uh, Kapelson has arrived and is joining the colony. She is a deep space miner. Kapelson has a relationship with the colony. She is Kalissa Fox's sister. Oh my lord, all of the relations! Uh, that's a kind of a bad place to be, Kapelson. Um, you got a knife though? Sure. Okay, you're going this way. <laughs> don't don't stab Larry though. Larry, Larry's Larry's not someone to be stabbed. You're greedy but a careful shooter. A greedy, careful shooter. Shooter. Okay. Incapable of social. That's fair enough. Um, are we going to be able? To yes, they went down. Fantastic. Okay, these weapons are still trying to engage Lynx because I told them to. Lynx. Are you even worth capturing at this point? Too smart and jealous. Nah. Uh, sorry, Lynn, not Link, uh, Lix. Um, for Lynn, it's degrading to have a less impressive bedroom than someone else. She gets a mood loss if any colonist has a more impressive bedroom. Uh, 11 construction. Oh, 
my lord. All right, guns stand down. Hold fire. Get turned off. You guys, oh, we haven't got enough places to put you people. Uh, Larry is almost gone. Come on then. We, we're going to have so many people who may be named. Can you catch up with Colonel? Yes, you can. Larry is already gone. Dark Half will never catch up at this point. Uh, sure, you can ingratiate yourself by helping out. Really? Abrasive, careful shooter. Growing of 17. It's almost a max skill grower. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. The reality of this situation, there is absolutely no way that I could... I could have all of these people um, in the colony. They, we do not have the food to sustain this kind of population. Not yet. Not for a long time. So, we've got one new mouth to feed. And we've got two new prisoners. We're not even going to try to, to get Larry. Larry is gone. So, we're just going to accept that one. Um, two new prisoners, though. And we are going to have them... Damn, we do need a place. We could temporarily have them held up in here. You know what? Sure, we're going to cancel that. We're going to put together two beds really fast. But until then, two sleeping spots will do. There we go. We're going to make these prisoner sleeping spots. There we are. Okay, well, with that, we're wrapping up this episode. Um, Kalissa, could you capture Lynn and Dark Avak? Could you capture Colonel? And, yeah, we're going to have to start work on three new rooms. There's no guarantee that we're going to actually recruit those two. So, only one room strictly necessary. But, you know, we're going we're gonna, to... We're gonna, be a bit optimistic about this, and it seems that we're going to capture everyone. So, I'm going to need a lot of new names. And uh, for those wondering why I haven't renamed Lorenz yet, it's because this episode has been recorded before I have posted the last, so I haven't yet had a chance to get any uh, name suggestions from you guys. But if you're interested in any of the colonists who yet don't yet have a name, so that's uh, Capelson and the two possibly colonists, the prisoners then do leave a comment down below. But until next time, and as ever, do remember to leave a like if you liked, sub if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.